This is another new day added to our lives. Thank God for God's great faithfulness and mercy which has brought us into this new day to live and glorify him. And I pray that today's meditation shall also help you to understand the some of the teachings of Jesus concerning discipleship. And today's meditation is centered around the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 5 verse 10 where Jesus says to his disciples, I mean to his would-be disciples, uh, don't be afraid. From now on, I will make you fishers of men. Now, chapter 5 of Luke gives us the, the account of the calling of the first disciples of Jesus. It is recorded by Matthew as well in his gospel, chapter 4. And um, Jesus said to these would-be disciples, Peter, Andrew, James, and John, Come, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. According to Luke, the context is, these men were fishermen already, and they were out in the night, a whole night of frustrating, disappointing, discouraging, exhausting, sleepless night, they could not catch a single fish. And uh, they were so broken men. Uh, you read it in Luke chapter 5 verse 5, how, how they felt. But Jesus told them to cast their net in a particular spot. And uh, they did. Though with this statement, Master, the whole night we labored, but we couldn't catch anything. But according to the word of Jesus, they cast the net and they had surprisingly a big catch. Now, I want to talk about the comparison Jesus made uh, between the uh, fishermen and the servants of God who are called to serve him. It is easy to understand the comparison. Let us look into it. By the kind of life one has to live as a fisherman and a servant of God are very, very similar. A servant of God or uh, compared to a fisherman. And what is the reason Jesus did this? We only have to uh, look into both their lives and uh, what is required of their life in order to accomplish their task, you will have no difficulty in understanding uh, this comparison. Now, uh, number one, a fisherman, how about his life? Life is an adventurous one. Imagine fishing is usually done in the night and in the night they go into the sea. And um, imagine the dangers one can uh, confront out in the sea. The sea can suddenly uh, face bad weather and uh, unexpected kind of problems can face uh, out in the sea in the night. And the second reason is that is, that is one thing. Now, a servant of God, his life is like that. And for the gospel of Jesus Christ, for which we are called to declare to the world, there are all kinds of hindrances and problems and threats and oppositions and persecutions. Keep this thing in mind. The second reason is, um, one is never sure of return. A safe return is not guaranteed for a fisherman when he goes out into the night, into the sea, to, to get, catch some fish. And uh, moreover, the, 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 even, even the family is prepared to face it. The family of a fisherman. Now, the family situation also 
sometimes can be great hindrances. A delicate wife and fuzzy children and uh, great, great needs and uh, demands. All these things can uh, be hindrances to a fisherman for his job. And uh, unexpected storms can suddenly hit the sea. Unfavorable weather and suddenly can bring fear and unfriendly wind can spoil our calculation. And the third reason why Jesus made this comparison is a fisherman should have patience, extreme patience. Sometime it takes a long time after casting the net and long time waiting to get some fish inside the net. And that is another reason. Now consider these reasons why we made it it, it uh, this uh, this patience especially plays a great role in this profession the apostle paul compared a servant of god to a soldier uh, a soldier's life also is similar to a fisherman's life it requires an adventurous spirit a spirit which knows no fear. Only such people can be effective soldiers. And courage and a spirit of sacrifice are needed to be a good soldier. A soldier cannot be entangled with the affairs of this world. I mean, Apostle uh, Paul teaches about this very, very nicely. And uh, before we go out into the battlefield, into the mission field, which is our battlefield, one should sit down and count the cost. And today, my friends, let me tell you, the kingdom of God requires such men and women willing to deny oneself and uh, takes up his cross or her cross and follow Jesus at any cost. That is a man or a woman who can make a good soldier. We fight for an eternal kingdom for which there will be no End. That kingdom is eternal. But in order for that kingdom to be well established, in which we shall reign with Jesus Christ in that kingdom, today we have to be soldiers of that kingdom. And once we begin to reign with Jesus, there may not be any need for soldiers or army because there will be no enemies there. But today, we are living in an environment of uh, enemies. There are many enemies of the gospel. And today, we have oppositions. We have to face ridicule and denial and rejection. And today, there are, there are, there are um, terrible uh, torture and uh, the people uh, will not accept the gospel and the gospel workers, which all of you who are listening to me already know. And so today when we dedicate our lives to serve the Lord, remember it is a fisherman's life, adventurous and a safe return is never sure and uh, extreme patience and uh, then uh, battling against the hindrances both at home and outside. So when we think of a, uh, of a kingdom, 
we are fighting for a kingdom whose king will be none other than the Lord Jesus Christ himself who shall reign and with whom we too shall reign forever and ever. Eternal kingdom. For his kingdom there shall be no end. And only in his kingdom there shall be righteousness, justice, peace and love. And my friends, before we can uh, see the realization of such a kingdom and uh, being in that kingdom, today we are in a battlefield. We are battling for souls of men and women. And our enemy is none other than the devil himself with his demons. We are trying to win the souls of men and women and bring them out of out of out out of hell uh, into uh, out of darkness into the marvelous light of the gospel of Christ bringing them out of death into life in Jesus Christ and who is our enemy he is also fighting for the souls of men and women the devil what is his purpose he wants to drag the men and women the humanity itself behind him into hell, into destruction. That is his purpose. And it is against this force that we have to fight the battle. We do not fight and uh, our fight is not against the flesh and blood, not against our brothers and sisters, our fellow ministers or anything. Our fight is against these unseen, invisible powers of darkness and dominions of the kingdom of darkness and the devil himself. And my friends, it is therefore this comparison is made. That's why Jesus said, I will make you fishers of men. Because fishers of men need, needed to be courageous, bold, adventurous, and, uh, and uh, willing to face any consequences of being out in the sea fishing. There are storms to be afraid of. There are strong wind that we need to be afraid of. And uh, uh, unfavorable situation. Let me tell you, most of the places under the sun are unfavorable to the gospel of Jesus Christ and to his servants and we need these qualities in life that's why Jesus said you deny yourself take up your cross and follow me and that takes courage and that's why Jesus also advised us sit down and count the cost if you are not willing to pay the cost you will not make it and it is my prayer that those who are listening to me, this message, will rise up and look to Jesus and see what price he paid for our salvation to save us from hell and to give us a place in his kingdom and give us eternal life and then transform us into his own likeness. The cost he paid for our salvation and redemption. And when you think of it, you shall rise up and say, I will be a soldier in the army of Jesus. Going forward, declaring the gospel of Jesus Christ, there will be enemies, there will be stoning, there will be killing, there will be all kinds of torture. But we shall not give up. The kingdom of God is coming in which we shall reign with Jesus, not for a few years, but forever throughout eternity. Choose this day and the Lord bless you and guide you. Give you boldness, Father, in the name of Jesus. We all are afraid of our life. But then, Lord, we thank you that we are not alone. Your spirit is a spirit of power, spirit of boldness spirit of courage it is a dynamic power that the holy spirit give us 
And so, Lord, may your people, your servants, be bold and courageous and not be discouraged knowing that you are ever with us. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Will you be a soldier in the army of God? Amen. Have a good day.